Hey everyone, this week we've been joined by Devere to play through a few of the games they are bringing with them to UK Games Expo. Now, if you want to be in with a chance of winning any of the games we play, be sure to go to that video and either subscribe and comment on it on YouTube, or come on over to Owen Tabletop, create a free account and comment on the video there. And be sure to also check out our various other Devere Games Let's Plays. Hello, I'm joined by the mighty David Esbury of Devere. David, it's you, lovely to see you. We have a really, really interesting game to share with you guys. So this is uh, called The Color Monster, and it's a game... I would like to say it's a game that is uh, uh, for children, but for me it's a game between adults and, and children. Um, and it's really something quite special. So, uh, so stay tuned to we to we show you through this and and have a bit of a discussion about what this game is. Uh, David, can you uh, give us a little bit of background uh, to the game? Yeah, this game is um, it has been designed by Jose Maria Llue and Dani Gomez, mm -hmm. based on the popular books by Ana Llenas of mm -hmm. the same name. Uh, her books are bestsellers all over the place, mm -hmm. and um, we managed to um, get a game, get a hold of the license to make a board game, mm -hmm. and um, and here it is. I mean, this game, I think, as you say, it's pretty special not only for for children but also to the player, uh, mm -hmm. to the fathers and mm -hmm. parents and educators that play with them. Yeah. So um, let's show you the components of the game, and I'm going to start to give you an indication of uh, of, of how the game um, actually plays. It's a game that is uh, firmly rooted around um, encouraging children to communicate about their feelings. Yeah, that's um, which is um, all important. I can talk a, a bit about this from a, from a personal experience. So um, inside the box, we get um, the rule book. The rules for this game are very, very simple. Um, the game itself is uh, easy to play, and it allows you to focus on what your children um, uh, are saying, and allows them to focus on their, their thoughts and feelings. So the board itself, um, we'll open that up. So the board is split into uh, zones. So we have um, the the following zones. So, uh, David, which uh, which are the zones here? We will start with with our characters here in the love area. In the love area. Mm -hmm. But the five main emotions are mm -hmm. the ones around it. Yellow is for happiness. Yeah. Black is for fear. Fear. Red is for anger. Anger. Blue is for sadness. Sadness. And green is for calm. Calm and peace and tranquility. Um, as well as that, we have um, a, a few other uh, nice uh, kind of uh, almost three-dimensional components. Yes, these um, shelves. So these are the shelves. And then in the shelves go little jars. So um, these are the jars. Now the jars are uh, wonderfully tactile, very, very solid, perfect for children. Um, you would have no problem with your kids um, uh, playing with these and handling these. And the jars have a design on the back, which we'll come to in a second. And they have a little hole in the front and a slot at the top. And the jars go in to the shelves like this now these are emotional jars and then you come it comes with eight um so you set the other ones up like so um also in the box then we have um the the characters so the, there's two characters there's the the confused uh, monster this monster. is the color monster and he's um basically uh, going to be going around and trying to um discover and express his feelings and then you have the little girl um who is a helper to the to the color monster and then finally we have tokens and a dice and the tokens are for each of the emotions so we have happiness fear anger peace and worry um sadness and uh, they are double-sided, so you can either use colors or the, the little monsters. And what ultimately happens is they are the little things that slot in, like so. So, David, do you want to talk us through roughly um, <coughs> how the game basically plays? Yes. I'm going to move this a little bit away. Mm -hmm. So, um, first thing we'll do is just quickly put these guys around. Mm -hmm. All right. So, 
in this story, this is a cooperative game. So yes. for starters, uh, we're all going to work together in order to um, help the color monster to uh, understand what's going on inside of him. At this moment, yeah. he's quite confused. All of his emotions are, are tangled up and he doesn't really know what's going on inside. So his little friend is going to take him on a journey through all of these different emotions to help him understand what everything is mm -hmm. and how to put each of those in its right place. Yes. <clears throat> so the um, first thing we're going to do, we're just going to roll the dice. Mm -hmm. and um, So uh, this is the, the dice that comes with the set. It has a, a one on it, a two on it. And it has the little girl, and it has this a spiral. Spiral. Yeah. So we roll. Yeah. And we get a two. So with with that number, we can uh, the player who's uh, controlling the monster at that moment, mm -hmm. he can move the monster two positions in either direction. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So once we do that, we pick up the emotion in that uh, that is for um, fear for fear in that mm -hmm. case, and we will choose one of the bottles. So yeah. let's pick, for example, this one. It's blindly because we don't know what's in the other side. Mm -hmm. We check and we make sure if it fits or not. Since this is not correct, the bottle goes back to its place, and so does the token. Mm -hmm. So yep. then the next player rolls. Mm -hmm. Let's say we get a one. Yes. So the monster can go in either direction. So if, the, say, the monster um, moves over to anger. Anger, or we can go to happiness, since uh -huh. we already seen that bottle. Yeah. Oh, okay. that's true. Yeah. So if we went back the way, we could go to happiness. OK. Do we remember where the yellow was? Oh, you'd think I would. You'd think I would. I'm pretty sure it was this one. OK, let's see okay, that. OK, so let's see that. Yeah. That is correct. That was it. So then you slot the token in. So you put the happiness token into there okay and we have that resolved mm -hmm. now we have to figure out about the other four uh, emotions yes but what makes this game really special mm -hmm. is the fact that before picking up each of these tokens the players the children they have to speak out loud a situation a memory in which they felt that way Yes. What makes you feel happy? When grandpa comes and picks me up at school and buys me candy. Mm -hmm. There you go. Now you can yeah. pick it up. Or what makes you sad? What makes you um, being calm? Mm -hmm. So this is what makes this game become more than a game. Yes. Yeah. And that, that to me, is, is what makes this uh, so uh, special. I can only talk from my own personal experience on mm -hmm. this. Um, I have four children. Um, uh, I have a little boy who is on the, the ASD spectrum, um, and I have another little boy who is almost certainly um, um, ADHD like myself. And teaching my children um, to uh, communicate and to try and understand their feelings and to be able to talk to uh, myself and their mother and each other about their feelings um, has become has become a real um, important part of our lives because um, in their own way, Savannah, my, my eldest daughter, is eight. So she's now getting to the point where um, she's maybe reluctant to talk about uh, a lot of her feelings because <laughs> as she grows up, she'll understand that she has more and more feelings that she maybe less uh, understands less and less. <laughs> uh, Manny, with uh, uh, being on that ASD spectrum, um, struggles with emotions and feelings quite a lot. Yeah. Um, so what this game uh, provides us as a family is um, entertainment and structure and the ability to communicate without it feeling too forced. Exactly. You know, we have that, we have uh, the ability that we can crack the game out and the, the kids, uh, the kids get to, to talk, laugh, uh, tell, uh, say what scares them. And, and even more importantly, mommy and daddy also get to communicate their feelings as well. And we can share with our children that they're not the only ones that have these feelings exactly that it's, yeah. it's quite normal for us yeah. as, as adults to have these feelings as well and if i'm being honest david i can't think of many opportunities where um adults get down get to sit down with children and uh, communicate their feelings to children and let the children see that yeah. uh, that these emotions and things are are something that's that's part and parcel of of life itself yeah they're happening to i mean they they see how they've 
f uh, parents feel uh, at different situations and what makes them feel that way. But also the game has, in the last page of the rule book, there's a few extra tips for, mm -hmm. again, parents and educators to bring this forward. For, for example, you may find yourself that uh, maybe one of your kids doesn't feel comfortable talking about his emotions. Mm -hmm. So then you can project what makes the color monster feel uh, sad. Yeah. Because blah, blah, blah. So they're projecting that. Yeah, they project, yeah. <laughs> they can draw their own board with their own emotions. They can, they can go further. You can, mm -hmm. you can do many other things with this, with this game. It, it's, um, it's a wonderful um, uh, ability to, um, uh, to wrap up a very important activity. Um, because, you know, as parents, we all have busy lives. And sometimes uh, you, 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 it's difficult to um, to make the time. But by having a game that you can crack open and you can have some fun and there's some structure to it, for my little ADHD boy, the structure's, <laughs> the structure's mighty important because it helps him understand that he has to take his turn yeah. and, uh, you know, and he has to consider and think uh, about his emotions and, and trying to describe them. But it's... Um, it's such a wonderful, wonderful concept. Now, there's a few little kind of advanced rules yeah, well, uh, in it as well. Obviously, because otherwise the game would be way too simple. Yeah. Uh, of course, there are a few bottles just like this one, mm -hmm. which are confusion bottles. So it's a confusion <laughs> bottle. Yeah. So when that comes out, we will have to shift the position of mm -hmm. two of the existing bottles. So, so two bottles then have to move around. Yeah, okay. that may confuse little kids. Uh huh. And um, there are three bottles like this. If at any point in the game, all three of them are showing, then the monster is all confused and has to go to bed and Aww. then we play again. <laughs> so, uh, but then that's why the, uh, the, our little friend here is helping yes. us. So if we roll the, 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 the gold girl. side of mm -hmm. the dice, or if we make the monster move to the same space where she is, with mm -hmm. that result, she moves to wherever the monster is, mm -hmm. she will cover up one of those bottles here. Oh, so one of those bottles gets turned back around again. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. And the spiral allows us to move the monster to wherever we want to go. Yeah. And that's pretty much the game. I mean, um, the game was nominated to the best children game in France mm -hmm. of the year uh, uh, recently. And... Um, from my experience, I've been I've been playing this with three year olds, four year olds, yeah, and there's so much in that in those conversations. There's so much that they they open up, they they mm -hmm. they showing stuff to their parents that they weren't aware of. Yes, I am not a parent yet, but I'm waiting my first one for this summer. Oh, congratulations, man! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> But I am I'm really looking forward to, to have the chance to 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 get my my little one play with her many yeah. many games and this one I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a, a really valuable tool for us. Yeah, I, I know that in, in our in our home, um, especially now because our ch a number of our children are getting of age where the, we we we're starting to notice. Um, uh, some of the struggles and things that they're likely to face um, with the weak conditions and stuff that, the, that, that they live with. It, it, something like this uh, allows us to be uh, mindful and uh, to, to actually sit down and open up um, as a family and uh, to really kind of um, get to know one another and, and set each other's minds at ease. Uh, it's a wonderful game. It's uh, the called the color monster. It's by Devere, and if you have um, if you have young children um, uh, that you would like to uh, open up with and communicate with, I highly highly recommend it. David, look, thank you so much for bringing uh, such a, an insightful game um, into the studio. It's been a real pleasure to to have a look at this with you. Thank you. Okay, okay, guys, stay tuned. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.